Hello. Hey, welcome to my another video. Uh, in today's video, uh, we are going to discuss about the higher order components in React. So what do you mean by higher order component? Uh, where we can use it? What are the benefits? All those stuff. Okay. So uh, the concept of higher order components is nothing but so the higher order component accepts a component and then it, it returns another component. So why do we need that? So if you want to like considering the uh, reusability aspect, right? if you want to uh, like apply the same set of properties to multiple different components, right? so let's say if you have a simple example, if you want to say you have some uh, styles to be applied uh, across different components. Okay, so let's say I have component A and component B and both has to be applied the same set of styles. For example, some background color, some border, uh, etc right so instead of writing this styles into each and every component what we can do is we can we can create a higher order component with all these properties that properties that it has to yeah all these properties and then you can use that to wrap this individual component to get the properties which are defined in the higher order component okay so let's take a, a, a very simple example Okay, to understand the concept of higher order components, right? So, I'm okay. This is uh, anyway just a simple application. Nothing is there. Right? It has just one label which says I'm from app.js. I have it running in my local. It just says um, I'm from app.js. So I'm going to create another folder here uh, to create a component. Let's see if I am creating a component user component. User component JS, yes. and now I'm going to create this user component. Two, return, and then it just says user component. Okay. Just I'm just going to import here. We import user component from component sorry component from component and user component okay then same component user component okay just a simple application so it shows a uh, line from approaches should not it should say user component same exp Export default user component should say user component. Okay. So uh, let's see if I have some additional properties to be applied here. Uh, let's see if I, if I want to add some styles. Let's say some background color of red. And then we some border, let's see one pixel solid green, and then let's say I'm adding some padding ten pixel. Okay. So let's say I have another component seeing. New file, I'm creating another component, user component 2.js. Just copying and pasting here and then just change the name. Okay. So component 2, 2, then I need to import the component 2 here, and then here also I can just say so component 2, component 2, and then component 2. Okay. So I'll just create two components and it shows user component and user component. So I will say this is user component one, then user component two. So let's add some margin in between. Margin is 10 pixel. 
So I'm just copying this and then adding here also. Okay. So now if I go, I can say user component one and user component two, and then it has some properties like border, green border, and then like a red background, all those things, right? So let's see, as you can see, right? So these are like exact same properties which we have to pass into both these components, right? So let's say if you have like multiple different components, we have to like use the same uh, same color, same background, same padding, etc. Right? So that case, as I said, right? So you can create a higher order component and then you can wrap your components using that higher order component to get all the properties from the higher, higher order component. So I can define all this all this data, the right, the border properties, everything in the higher order component, and use that across components to get that data. So if there is any change that you want to make here, right? So you just need to go to higher order, higher order component and then you can make the change. Also, if you want to like add more properties, so you don't have to go to each individual individual um, component and then add it, you just need to add it there and you can just use it in the component. Okay. So let's create our first higher order component. So my HOC higher order HOC component. Okay, I'm just saying. I have a component which yes. Okay, so I'm creating this my higher order component const my HOC component equal to it accepts a component. Okay, right again is a class it extends react dot component. Okay, now I'm rendering. So this is the class component I'm writing. Okay, so importing react here import react from react render and then export default my HOC component exporting it okay so now what I'm doing is so the return Just writing I'm returning I'm input component is the the name of the component is the component so I'm returning the component so what will happen so it just accepts the component it returns the component okay so I want to add some properties to this component and then return it right so what I can do is I can just use a constructor here to like initialize some properties super and then I'm defining some initial state for this. Let's say I want to like, put some name as mark name mark. And then I want to add some styles. Okay, styles adding background color is green. Then border. One pixel solid red padding. Let's say it's ten pixel. Also, I'm adding some margin of ten pixel. Okay. So I'm adding added some properties here, and then I am returning this along with when I return the component. Okay. So I can say component along with this dot state. I'm returning this too. Okay. I have to return everything in this, so just using spread operator. So this dot state. So what it happens is it accepts a component, it adds the state to this component as properties, and then it returns the component. Okay, that's what it does. Okay. So let's see how it works. So let's say if you want to like use these properties in my user component, right? What I can do is I can just import this component. Import my HOC component from my HOC component. So I can just wrap my component with the wrap the user component with my higher order component. Okay. So what happens is, as I said, it will return all these properties, this background color, border, padding, margin, everything, right? And I should be able to use those here. Okay. So instead of setting everything here, so I can what I can do is it will be returned as props. 
then what I can do is props dot styles dot background color. Okay, so I'll get this. So this dot styles dot background color. Okay. Similarly, I can what I can do is props dot styles dot styles dot and then I can put a border. Okay, and then what I can do is props dot styles dot padding and then props dot styles dot margin. So if I do this right, so I, I should be able to get all the properties I define in my higher order component. Okay, let's copy the same thing and then I'm using it here too, and then I'm doing the same thing like I'm importing it here too and then I'm wrapping my user component too using my higher order component okay so that's all I have to do pretty much then let's see if it renders uh, the props is not defined where is it I think here yeah props okay so what I can do is Props is not different, so I have to find the props. Yep, so what I can do is I can see user component one, user component two, it has got all the exact same properties, and all these properties are being added in the higher order component. So, higher order component is nothing but it just accepts a component, it adds some flavors, and then it returns a component with the added flavors. You can add anything, so this as is. Uh, what I showed you is a very simple example So you can add properties anything which is really common that you want to share across the components and then you can that, that That's the basically use case for my higher order component. So let's say if you want to like um, update the margin to like 100 pixel, right? So just need to update it here and then Refresh it the margin has become 100 pixel if you want to change the background color, you just need to change it there. In the higher order component, let's say if I want to change it to gray, and then I can only change the this to green, and then I want to change the border to five pixel. So, yep, that's it. So that is basically a very simple use case of a uh, my high, I mean higher order component. It's nothing but just uh, just accepts a component. Just add some properties and then returns, returns the component. Okay, I want to make it uh, just keep it very short. So I hope you understand what is the concept of a higher order component. So uh, if you like this video, then uh, hit the like button and also um, put a nice comment. And also, if you're seeing this channel for the first time, if you have not subscribed to my channel, do subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.